Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are looking at Ghost Recon Frontline, the full announcement video. I was talking to Rogue Gaming on Discord and he let me know about this and I've heard it's really, really bad. At the moment, the video itself has like 840 likes to, I think it's 2,100 dislikes. So already out of the gate, it seems as though the player base or potential player base, the community, are not happy with this announcement video. So what we're going to do is jump into it. Let's see what this is all about. Ubisoft Bucharest. Hello, ghosts. My name is Razvan, and I'm a community developer at Ubisoft Bucharest. Hello. Myself and the team here in Bucharest are excited to finally share what we've been working on for the past three years. Let's no, no, you haven't been working on it for three years. No, you haven't. Oh, no. For the first time in Ghost Recon. Face 100 plus players. Oh, there's music. There's music. There's music. I, I can't leave the music playing. Gear up. It's just a full on battle royale, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they'll fight together. That's so innovative. I, I hate that they've got music behind it. Recover Intel. There's drones. Yeah, Ubisoft drones would be. Turrets. I mean, it just it looks bad, doesn't it? It really does. Extract. So you actually have to extract. So it's... Uh, that's the sort of stuff you do in Escape from Tarkov. Ah, uh, really? I I can't I can't believe it. Hold on. Two seconds before we carry on with this, they went from Future Soldier to Wildlands. Then to Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which was probably the worst Ghost Recon I think I even know of. It was like it was an okay game to play, but in terms of the series, it was one of the worst ones. They had a lot of issues with that game. They still do to this day. They're still confusing their own player base. But we've gone from that, and instead of Ghost Recon Breakpoint receiving substantial updates and new content and stuff, they've gone... Fuck it. We're going to make a Battle Royale. We can't add the Battle Royale modes to Breakpoint or anything like that. What we're going to do is just release it as its own game. What is the point? They claim to have worked on this for three years. By the looks of things, they've spent no longer than a year on it. And that's pushing it. The graphics of this look fucking hideous. I know the game's not about graphics. It's about the gameplay. But they claim to have worked on it for three years. It's going to be more than likely, I, I don't even know if it's a game coming out this year, next year, but it's a modern game. It should look better than this. Even the gunplay looks awful. It just looks really slidey. So let's we carry on with this. The trailer and this no, I didn't enjoy it. I'm sorry, but I didn't. Game. Frontline is a brand new installment in the franchise. Taking the tactical heritage it's not, of Ghost Recon no. and expanding upon it within a large-scale PvP experience where you choose it's a battle how you royale. to win. Now, I'd like to pass the mic to the rest of the team who are eager to tell you more about our vision behind the project. Okay, so let, let's hear it. I mean, I'm, I'm open ears. I'm willing to listen. I'm not saying I'm going to believe it. Oh, come on, do they really need this epic Hello, intro? Everyone. Welcome to Bucharest. Hello. The world reveal of a brand new experience in the Ghost Recon universe. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Frontline is an exciting new addition within the franchise, 
driven by our very personal take on a military authentic massive PvP shooter. We are bringing you really? a tactical action game. Wait, is that the with bloody war zone map? Bottom left. Of approach at its core. In Ghost Recon Frontline, you are at the heart of the action. And it's oh, PUBG. I, I don't know. How it's... you're going to outthink, outmaneuver, and outplay your opponents. Because in this combat zone, there's always more than one path to victory. Jumping into the game is simple. Just choose a contractor, pick a game mode, and get to it. Contractors, comes from microtransactions, with different weapons, completing objectives, and unlocking new recruits for your team. Contractors will be generated from a pool of various nationalities, military origins, looks, and classes. It looks Each like blackout. Specialization, development paths, and loadouts to benefit your team. Classes are highly specialized, filling in distinct tactical roles. The assault, for example, provides great sustainability in close-range fights and overall proficiency in offensive maneuvers. Where are them all the place from? The class can offer superior protection thanks to their fortification abilities that will let you defend your position much easier, while the scout can easily recon the area for their team, revealing and pestering your enemies from a distance without fear of reprisal. These are just three examples of what we're planning to be available at launch, with more to be added during seasonal updates. Seasonal, the yeah, they're going to cost. will radically shape how your team progresses and accomplishes goals. No two players will have the same fate, so you must think fast on your feet and adapt to the situation at hand. Ghost Recon Frontline is about complete strategic freedom. In our flagship mode called Expedition, players are dropped onto the island of Drakemore in three-person squads, tasked with finding crucial intel scattered across the landscape. Drakemore is a vast open world, filled with distinct biomes and landmarks to explore. That's a good thing, because there'll be more than 100 players active at once, all vying for the same intel. Once you're done collecting, it's time to head to a drop zone and call for an extraction. Now, here's where it gets really tense. Extraction is quite noisy. Every team on the island will see your position and will be gunning for your ride. If they intercept you before you successfully extract, they can steal it and use it for their own. How you will try the win is entirely up to you. Gather intel and extract in a hail of bullets, or lie in wait for another team's extraction and play the spoiler. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the freedom you have in setting your own objectives and shaping the game your way, ensuring that no match will play the same. Uh, hold on. Did they really just state that you can camp the extraction point if you want to? You play it your way. Why? Do they actually think this game is a good idea? Like, are Ubisoft fucking deluded? Honestly. Their releases are getting worse and worse. Their commitment to developing games is getting worse and worse. I mean, look at Far Cry 6. I, I know it's not out yet, but in the season pass, they're bringing back characters from old games. In Watch Dogs Legion, they did the same thing. The Division 2, they abandoned it for like an entire year. That's if the content actually comes out for it. Breakpoint, the raids they released never ever once had a modifier. Even Kenley College... The, uh, what was it, dead drop or something with the grenades dropping off enemies, that modifier, that never changed. There was only ever one put into the mode. They're so lazy. It's pathetic. It really is. Frontline is still a Ghost Recon game. Built no, it isn't. It isn't a Ghost Recon means, game. Its gameplay, it's all about creating your own solutions to overcome different situations. We've brought yeah, it into a hold lesson. up, hold up. The solution to this would be to cancel the development of it. They've been working on it three years, look at the state of it. It just looks copy-paste from other games, not even games within their own sort of company. This is this stupid. I'm getting more and more frustrated as we carry on with this. We've got two minutes 40 left. My head might explode by the end of this one. Perspective to heighten your immersion and retailer the core mechanics from the ground up to emphasize reactivity. From the ground up, shut the up. You move, the amount the of times we've heard that. Feels faster, sharper, Look at that crouching. What is that? To provide a seamless and satisfying experience. While satisfying until you meet the store. The front line, there will be other, more casual options added for those who want to get some quick access, traditional arena shooter experience, or simply. That's an LMG with no recoil. Local, like it's going up a little bit. Or technical support setup. We'll be rolling out a suite of unique modes to allow player greater variety in gameplay options as our game world evolves with each season. 
No matter what your preference is, we are committed to making sure this title has something for everyone. But you're not committed. You'll abandon it a year or two later. Our team knows that creating a balanced and fun experience requires a lot of testing and iteration based on players' feedback. Without your involvement, it simply cannot happen. That's why oh yeah, that's said with every game release. Feedback. We want you to see how it affects our journey to deliver the most polished and entertaining experience Polished? Possible. No, 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 no. To put Get that word out of your mouth. To the test in Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Frontline soon. Registration for our upcoming tests are now open and I'm thrilled to let you know that many of you will be able to play the game in our European PC Close Test with other platforms to be announced at a later phase. Make sure to sign up to this link to get more info and a chance to play the game. Keep in mind, I will sign up, but I'm probably going to get declined. Development. But because of this, you, the players, have a chance to shape the experience before its final release. No, so, no, no. Help decide the direction for this exciting new chapter. In they the settled that with a Div 2 PTS. Sure to sign up for the upcoming closed test. There will be plenty more from Ghost Recon Frontline in the coming months. So for all the latest news and details, make sure to follow our social channels and share your experience. Are we, are we done? The there's, there's still 30 the odd seconds. That's all for now. But we'll have more updates coming your way in the very near future. We hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far, and we can't wait to show you more of Ghost Recon Frontline. And once again, we wish you all a happy 20th anniversary, Ghosts. Thanks for watching, and see you all very soon. Do you know what's sad about that? We wish you a happy 20th anniversary. We hope you enjoy it, basically. It's the worst fucking announcement they could have ever done. Ubisoft are actually full on starting to take the piss. They just they go from bad release to bad release. This looks no different. The gameplay just is so basic. You want to play a game like this? Just go load up a game like this that already exists. Just any battle royale, even play Fortnite. It's probably going to play similar to this. The amount of times they say, "Oh, we built it from the ground up. We need your feedback." Then they don't ever listen. And they say, "Oh, the polished." That word, no. That word shouldn't exist in development companies because games don't come out polished anymore. Ubisoft going from AAA games to free-to-play is the worst decision they will probably ever make. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, they made a mobile game called Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. That game is or will be closed down just due to a lack of players. Nobody cares. Breakpoint, Div 2, they've got like really low player counts because the developers just don't care. I know they're all different development teams, but they're working on other games and stuff as well. They're releasing a lot of stuff. We're even supposed to have X Defiant, which again looks like a piece of shit. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. If there's anything else on this, I'm, I'm going to sign up and see if I can get my hands on it just to actually play it. I'm still going to give it a chance, regardless of my first impressions from the announcement. I always do. But so far, for me at least, it's not looking good. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.